TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. All the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 177, S&P 32, NASDAQ 106, Russell's up 13, Semi's up 39, Tranny's up 59. Let's go take some time and take a look at our indexes, our daily index charts out here. So we'll change screens. Give me a moment to do that. As soon as this screen populates, we'll be in the upper left-hand corner. will be the Dow Jones Industrial. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. What is it doing? It's trading right up into a key level of potential resistance, and that is at 35.475.40. Hasn't it yet? Price should hit it. There's no reason for it not to. Now, one possible scenario, that's a TD9 breakdown level, is this where we begin to see price pull back. Now, not necessarily pull back because it's the ultimate of tops out there, not that it couldn't be, but pull back because we can see that that oscillator and change line changed colors yesterday. And when that happens over the coming sessions, we see that line and price catch up to each other. It doesn't happen immediately, but we do have price getting into resistance level. Hey, if price clears above that 35,475. That says we get back to the all time highs out there. That's the high from August 16. And above that high, that high is 35,631. Then what the Dow will do, it will complete this little small consolidation pattern that price had broken out of and take us up into the 36,137 level. So what's next up that you want to have down on your pad of paper is 35, 475.40. If there's a close above that, that would be a very bullish outcome. That does not have to take place today. If I take a look at the S&P 500, let me get to its charts out here. Bar number four of a TD9 count. So there's no topping signal. It's in an A to B equals CD pattern. Its oscillator and change line also changed colors recently. But right now, this is suggesting that price wants to go target the highs from September 2nd. If there were to be a bearish reversal candle that forms, that could even happen today. I don't see it just yet. But if there were to be a bearish reversal candle, that would signal some type of top out there. The NDX 100 wants to continue higher as well. Um, and only in bar number four. It's also an A to B equals C to the upside. The Russell 2000, just a lot of sideways action out here. But price should continue to move higher. Maybe it's going to go target the highs from October 15th, that little shooting star candle. The case of the semis, well, in the semis out here, let's uh, get the, to the actual live data. They're going to target the price point out here. Let me get to their target. 34. 0945. That's its next target to the upside out there. I don't see anything getting in the way at this moment. And the Dow Transports, they formed TD9 count top yesterday. That makes yesterday's high of 15,347. You get a close above that, the transports say they're going to the moon. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next with the Polar Trading Hour. I'll see you back tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday.